Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. Today, we're not going to talk about Nike, Adidas, but one of the brands that I always looking forward to see their new products is Camber. Um, I revisit their website again and as I expected, they have a lot of cool, fresh, modern design footwear that I'm very interested in. Some of the show that they are very innovative too. However, the pricing is a little bit high, but the thing is, right, you pay very good quality material on their products and went through their best seller products. I come across this loafer named Junctions. The price on this is $210. Me, like I never really like loafer somehow, but the thing is, right, uh, this loafer, they are different than some basics, regular loafer that you see people often wear. Um, that is how I'm drawn into some detail that are different than traditional show. The most iconic detail is the rubberized removable toe. Uh, if you don't like the toe, you can remove it. It's very easy to remove. So it's gonna become like the regular traditional loafer. Without this toe, I wouldn't get this shoe in the first place because I've seen so many basic traditional shoes. It's kind of bored me when I look at it. And they come up a lot of different fun color ways for you to choose from. If you have extra budgets, you can get the same model with different colors and you also can swap out the toe shapes to make it more fun on your outfit. And also the quality leather on this shoe is very good too. They use cap skin leather. They are smooth and very durable. It's feel definitely premium leather that they use on this upper and in the lateral side around the heel colors they have a, the text of the camper branding so the shoes is pretty much not really over brandings are very minimalist that's what i like in footwear or in clothing as well you know i don't like too much branding on my products I don't want to look like a billboard as I already mentioned this a lot of time and inside of the heel counter they use a piece of the suede leather to prevent heel slip and also they have the auto light recycle footbed it's removable footbed to me this footbed is very good it's thick give you very good cushioning and comfort and around the heel area they have screen print camper branding logo in red this also tooling is a mixture between recycle rubber and the natural rubber so um, they are very flexible as you can see i can twist it it's super flexible man i never really see any like classics traditional fluffer that can twist like this I don't know if this is the good thing. Often when you look at the dress shoes, right, they have a piece of the shank in the middle. This one doesn't have shank. So they basically fully rubberized outsole toolings. It kind of give me a little bit of the concern on this protection wise around your forefoot because this forefoot is very flexible and it seems like very thin. Hopefully they are durable to protect my feet and go to the outsole patterns around the toe area. You can see they have the camber brandings in the center of the heel. You can see the sizing of this shoe and the outsole pattern is give me the vibe of the patterns on the Star War, that Star trend. Maybe I'm just watched too much Star Wars recently, so that's why it's kind of give me that image of the Death Star trend pattern on this. And also it's the white color, so it's very close to the color of the Death Star. Camber to me, they always make fun design and also very innovative some of their products. Since we talk about innovations, let's go to this pair of Camber Torso in Camper Lab. Camper Lab is more like a Nike Lab version, I guess. Um, they have some innovation product, which is I really like it. I mean, I love this department. I think they're doing a great job. Uh, the pricing on the shoes is $325. That's what you expected. If you pay expensive stuff from Nike Lab, 
Camper Lab is also is a little bit extra as well. And they have a lot of cool colorways on these shoes too. In my opinion, the cream colorway, it looks the best for this model. The design of the shoes, they look very edgy and look futuristic. This shoes upper the cage, I think they use this TPU injection mode. I love the elevation up and down on these design details, as well as their texture choices on this TPU cage. And another detail that I like about the shoes is they are asymmetrical design detail in the lateral size as well as in the middle size. And the knit material on this upper, they are very simple. I think it's a good choice when they pick this simple knit because this TPU case, they are already a little bit busy. So you want to pick like a simple knit pattern for the upper in the interior of this Upper, they use the water repellent 3D knit and on the outsole tooling, they basically is very simple. They use the herring bone pattern around the toe area. They have the number 38 stand for my size. I think 38 Europeans converted to US is six and a half. I would recommend you go half a size up because I kind of have a hard time to get into this color. When I get through this, part the fuffer is perfect fit for my white feet and in the heel kick they have the camber lap brandings and in the middle of the arch and they have a very hard piece of plastic or the tpu piece that give you a better support on the show the footbed is also removable but this footbed is very thin compared to the other recycle of the light footbed i think the other one is better in my opinion man i didn't really expect some cool stuff that come out from camber back then you know like seven ten years ago when i look at camber it's just very boring brand nowadays they create a lot of cool products and up next i'm gonna share with you guys how i would like to style them So there you have it. What do you think about these two shoes and the way how I style them? Comment below in the comment sections. And if you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.